we start, ma'am? I think we can yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Yes. Right, right, right. So a very good afternoon to all of you off of the Center for Innovation and uh, Entrepreneurship here at Jamia Millia Islamia and also the Institutions Innovation Council. Uh, we welcome Dr. Usha and we're very, very fortunate and very lucky and we are privileged and honored to have with us such a speaker like Dr. Usha. It's really a privilege for us. Uh, welcome, ma'am, to Jamia Millia Islamia and we're really looking forward to your, uh, your presentation today. And I'm sure it's going to inspire all the people to, you know, to benefit from your presentation and apply for more patents. I think that's what we're looking for. Yeah. And especially for the students as well. I mean, uh, they do interesting and exciting work. But, you know, to be able to transla translate that into an intellectual property component is something that they need to learn as well. Yeah. We really look forward to you, Dr. Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Over and to you. Over to Dr. Usha. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah. I'd request the others to keep their, uh, themselves muted at the end whenever Dr. Usha finishes after that questions can be posed. So, Dr. Usha, over. Yeah, uh, so uh, is my screen visible? It is. Yeah. Yes, madam. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so, we all meet today uh, for this IPR awareness program, which is being conducted under the National Intellectual Property Awareness Mission. This mission has been launched by my office, that is the Office of the Controller General of Patents, Designs and Trademarks, which is under the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. And we are actually, this program has been launched to commemorate 75 years of independence, that is the Azadika Amrit Mahotsav. So basically the reason behind this uh, IPR awareness program is uh, that we, uh, the government uh, wants that you know inspire students to be uh, to look into those aspects which can make a more creative India and a more innovative India, because uh, the government recognizes that uh, institutes, research institute, educational institutes, universities, the these are our, our first creators and first innovators. Only after that they move from the uh, colleges, universities into industries and uh, take up jobs and then they become uh, i mean they then they take up but the first creations or first innovations are done in the uh, in the in the universities colleges research institutes so it is very important for students to understand what is intellectual property right what is intellectual property and how they can actually protect it right so um, that is what the whole uh, presentation is about so just to give you a little background, so we all know what is, uh, you know, a general property, like a property for this uh, uh, aspect can be divided into two. First is the tang tangible, that is, it, that is, it can be measurable. And the second is intangible, intangible. So the, when you look at the measurable aspect of property, you have examples like the car, the building, the flat, you know, something that you can see, you can touch, you can feel, and you can actually use it, right? So this property also has the aspect where you can register it. So as soon as you buy a car or a building or a home, what you do is you just go uh, to a government office, submit some documents proving that this, th these documents are yours, and then you can... Uh, then the government gives you a right, right? So it registers it on your name. So this is very common. This is like as soon as you buy a car or, or a bike, that is what you do at the first uh, 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 at the first instance. But there is also another type of property which is intangible and it is not measurable. And this type of uh, not measurable property has is becoming more important in in today's knowledge based economy because if you see that you know uh, 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 the tangible property is uh, was always of importance but now uh, even this intangible uh, type of property is becoming important so what is this so basically this is the intellectual property and what is intellectual property so you know even uh, we human beings are endowed with the brain which has the potential to uh, differentiate between good and bad and to to be, you know, to do things, to create and to invent. 
and even now when you when you're listening to me i'm sure that you would be thinking of so many different things like maybe you may be thinking of a song which you had just heard or you may be have thinking you may be thinking of you know uh, a cup of tea which you want to have now because it's a little um, a little in the e- evening so your brain is multitasking and it can it has the power and the potential to do whatever whatever you want it to so you may also be thinking of i wish i could go to switzerland and you may think about going to switzerland right so all these aspects are very important now <clears throat> when you use this brain or this intellect along with resources and you put in your labor then you generate something which is called the intellectual property now this intellectual property can be an invention it can be an artistic in nature it can be you know any image it can be any symbol anything which has some value right and this intellectual property has a lot of value the, the problem is that we do not acknowledge it we do not uh, we do not uh, understand that yes this is intellectual property just as i told you you can uh, register or you can protect your uh, car or your building in the same way this intellectual property can also be protected and only once you protect your intellectual property then only it becomes a tangible aspect or an economic tool and this intellectual property can be protected through intellectual property rights which can be divided into two industrial property and copyrights under the industrial property you have patents designs sicld trademarks and gs and of course you know about copyrights so today we will look into all these aspects so to sum it up intellectual property re- refers to creations of the mind such as inventions literary and artistic works designs symbols names and images used in commerce so uh, as i have already discussed so a creation of the mind anything that can be uh, you know a, a creation it could be an invention it could be literary it could be an artistic work it could be a design anything that is that has some economic value and the government gives ex- exclusive rights called iprs for a limited period of time in exchange for disclosure of an individual's creation so uh, very important to uh, remember that the government gives rights like for example you will have to file your intellectual property application in the office where i am working and our office which is a government office will give you a right right and that is called the intellectual property right and what do you have to do you have to disclose your creation so whether it is your book or whether it is an invention whether it is a um, uh, any artistic work any design anything you have to disclose it to the government only then you will get a right over it and this is a very finely crafted bargain between the rights of the creator and society so uh, since iprs are supposed to be monopoly rights so uh, there has to be a very fine balance between uh, the rights of the um, uh, of the individual or the creator or the patentee or the right of the and the right of the society so what does it do it encourages creativity and innovation by granting rights to individuals who risk their time and money in creative endeavors so if you are putting in uh, some amount of time some uh, money some resources and you are maybe risking you know a lot of your uh, intellect then the this right this economic tool this intellectual property right will give you a Uh, uh give you the potential to reap benefit out of your intellectual property right so what are the benefits of intellectual property protection why are we talking about all this right so the first uh, as you can see the first ma'am i have i have one submission i don't yes. know whether it is a problem with me alone the slide has not been changing for me oh. well now it has changed now okay. it has changed for me uh okay so i i think i'll just uh, go uh, do it like this only it's not the full screen but i think we'll work on this right uh, so uh, what is the major aspect about this so the first point is that it it actually helps in uh, the economy of a country so so how do you look at it so very simply like right we are all now connected through these laptops desktops and through this virtual uh, virtual machines 
and uh, it would have been so easy for me to come down and give a lecture you know i would have loved to do that but uh, the situation is such that we are all now tied to these virtual machines so uh, till a few days back there was in fact work from home and we were not coming to office also so in our house now we have so many laptops right and so many desktops so can you tell me when you buy a laptop what is the first thing that you have to uh, incorporate in it to see to it that you know it uh, works yes can anyone tell me that uh, is it visible now sir yes yes it is visible and operating system i believe yes yes exactly so uh, so the operating system is so very important because without that we we will not be able to actually use our laptops and if you look at it the operating system that we are normally using is the microsoft office uh, windows right and uh, that is something from uh, that is a uh, 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 microsoft we buy it from the microsoft company and that microsoft company is a uh, us company so whenever we are buying that intellectual property of microsoft office we are actually contributing towards the economy of the us government and that is where our students and this this very uh, latent potential power comes into play because it shows that you know how much we have to do we have to see to it like students are so tech savvy in today's world they i have a small i have a nephew who is who can make um, uh, games video games or uh, computer games laptop games mobile games uh, so uh, the encouragement has to be or that is how students have to look at it that this uh, is an intellectual property and we are using intellectual property of some one or the other and if we understand this then it it will become very very simple you know to uh, to innovate and to create new things uh, so so what are we doing we are exporting dollars so the basic aspect should be how to import dollars into the country how is it possible what sort of inventions are required what sort of creations are required because at the end of the day if you have an invention registered on your name uh, or granted on your name then that is not only your invention it is the invention of the country and that will contribute towards the economy of the country right next when you look at innovation so innovation very simple we are struggling with the pandemic the whole world is struggling with covid-19 pandemic but all the scientists all over the world have worked hard and have come up with um, uh, you know the vaccines the covid-19 vaccines and we are very very proud that we are have our own uh, indian vaccine can you name name the vaccine yes anyone i think uh, you should be vaccine oh, covid yes yes the covaxin and the the covaxin which is a which is indian uh, made by the indian company bharat biotech so you can see that how important this innovation was or how important this innovation is this is the intellectual property of the bharat the inventors uh, in bharat biotech and uh, we we are so very lucky that we have this vaccine if not we would again have been dependent on uh, foreign countries to provide us with vaccines yes they are doing it now sputnik has come into india but at least we are uh, 50% of our population has already got protection against uh, covid 19 using our own indian vaccines now when you look at covishield so covishield is also a vaccine that is manufactured in india by serum institute of india but that is a joint venture between astrazeneca uk and um, Uh, Oxford University. So that is how you know we are all surrounded by intellectual property, and it is very important for us to understand the value of this intellectual property. Uh, I would like to tell you here that the patent has not been granted on um, the COVID nineteen vaccine. Uh, that is because at present we are under a pandemic, and uh, there is no monopoly right that is given to any of the COVID nineteen vaccines. Right. Uh, but yes it is it has the potential to get a patent granted right so both these examples are very clear they show that how important uh, um, intellectual property and intellectual property rights are towards um, the 
so that you know the consumers and the society is benefited and normally if you do a small search then you will find the companies that have a very strong uh, ipr portfolio are very successful So, um, yes. So next, we come to what are the intellectual property rights. So basically, uh, the first one is uh, patents, designs, trademarks, geographical indications, copyrights, semiconductor integrated circuit layout designs, and these six are governed by uh, the. Uh, uh, by my office, that is Controller General of Patents, Designs and Trademarks. And uh, the protection of plant varieties and farmers' rights is under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare. And uh, the trade secrets is a general uh, law. Um, it can be protected under any of the general laws, uh, civil or criminal. Um, so uh, this is the office structure. Uh, I hope my screen is visible because it's showing something here. I'm it's visible. Yeah. Right, yeah, visible. Yeah, yeah. So this is the office structure. Uh, we have six offices all over India. Uh, we have four patent offices, uh, five trademarks registries, and uh, uh, one uh, training academy at Nagpur. So if you visit our website, www.ipindia.nic.in, you will see that there are various uh, uh, windows which show the various uh, IPRs that, that are protected here, right? And uh, this is a very important uh, website in the sense that it is the repository of all the intellectual property applications that are filed in India, filed, registered, granted in India. Uh, so you have to remember that intellectual property rights are territorial rights. And because they are territorial rights, if you want to protect your invention or your creation in India, then you have to file your application in India. If not, um, and if you want to protect it in other countries, then you will have to file it in uh, the various other jurisdictions. So uh, these are the various uh, windows uh, which are of importance. One is comprehensive e-filing. And so we have, uh, you know, the whole of the uh, intellectual property office is everything is online and we have our own um, modules which is again digitally very strong and we are almost a paperless office office and um, we have uh, something called a public search so this is especially important if you are doing any sort of research work so suppose you start for uh, start a research project and uh, what you should do is uh, what we suggest is that uh, uh, researchers should do is that they go to our website and do a small search just put four keywords in the uh, more, uh, patent search module and then you will see that if you do a search you will see that you you can know how many patent applications are filed how many patent applications are granted how many are rejected all of that um, data is available on our website so what happens is that if you are doing something and you see that there is there are no almost no patents on that subject matter then you are sure that if you, whatever you do you you can get a patent uh, out of the research work that you're doing uh, uh, consequently if suppose you find that there is a lot of patents that have been granted then what you should do is you should try to work around that those patents because there is no uh, meaning in reinventing the wheel whatever efforts you're putting whether it's the inventor's intellect whether it's money whether it's resource all of that should uh, should actually give you a, a fruit you know a benefit uh, and what is that that can be an a patent you know uh, an uh, economic tool which can help you to reap the benefits so this is something which is very important if you can do that search uh, that will really help you right so let's look at the first uh, uh, first idea that is the patents right so what is a patent so basically to put it in very layman term um, a patent is either a product and or a process 
that is an invention and this invention is the technological or the scientific solution to a problem so we are surrounded by so many problems and if you are able to provide a scientific or a technological solution to that problem then that product and or that process or, or of making that product you can get a patent registered over it now this invention is for a limited period of time for 20 years and it is not extendable and uh, what do you have to do you have to ex uh, disclose it in a something called a patent specification and uh, once you do this you submit it in the patent office then the government will do a small search like we we are uh, the representatives of the government and we do the search and we see to we will uh, tell you whether it can be granted or if there are any objections right so what is the basic criteria is it that every patent application that is filed is uh, uh, granted no that is not the case because there is there is a certain criteria so first of all it should be novel so what do i mean by novelty so if you look at the term novelty with respect to patent uh, uh, system then it means that it should not be published anywhere in india uh, anywhere in the world right it should not be published there should be no newspaper publication it should not there should it should not be published in anything in anywhere in the world so that is first criteria that is the reason why we keep on uh, telling that if you want to publish your research activities your research results uh, then if, uh, in a journal then you should be very careful first you should file for a patent application and then only you uh, publish it in a journal that is the first important uh, aspect that you should understand because if not you will lose the novelty right and secondly what happens is that once you publish your work your results then anyone can use that results to make a product make a process and then sell it back to you and that is what we have observed so we need to be very <clears throat> careful about it because what you if you if you publish it then you are actually giving away your intellectual property without get, getting back anything in return second is inventive step so what is what do you mean by inventive step so um, it means that it should not be obvious to a person skilled in the art so uh, what do you mean by this so if suppose i make a product which contains neem as well as uh, turmeric right and that product is for treating a wound so uh, you will say that ma'am this me kya hai ye to hamare dadi nani ke nuske hai jisme neem bhi use hota hai name is for antibacteria and turmeric is also for antibacteria so this is obvious right the product is obvious so this short sort of obviousness should not be there thirdly it should be industrially applicable applicable that means that it should be either made in the industry or used in the industry so you have to remember that a patent certificate is just not a piece of paper you you can reap benefit out of it you have to reap benefit out of it you can sell it to the industry you can lease it to the industry right and you can take a lump sum amount uh, if it is a very good invention and see that is what we are doing for a microsoft office although it is not a patent but it's a copyright but we are paying paying so that we can use it so in the same way we have to look at a different ip so that we can create something innovate something so that it can be useful to the society right then we have uh, something called sections 3 and 4 in the patents act it should not be uh, uh, the invention should not fall under these sections one is related, related to atomic energy and the other is related to uh, those aspects which are uh, socially uh, important for our country right so we have already discussed about territorial rights so i will not uh, repeated but remember that i uh, patent is also a territorial right so what is the patentable subject matter so the patentable subject matter is any article apparatus or machinery or its component any substance whether living or non living pharmaceutical product any composition of matter any process manner or art of manufacturing other than essential biological process i have given some uh, examples uh, some images so that you are able to understand what can be patentable subject matter so uh, 
when you look at uh, the uh, when you look at uh, you know inter how intellectual property is uh, there in everyday life so mm, when you look at a simple example like even a pen you know a pen has such a lot of intellectual property attached to it so for example when we were young we used to write with a fountain pen you know which had a nib and this nib used to break sometimes the ink used to leak because we used to pour it right we had a, a liquid sort of an ink we used to pour it and then sometimes it used to leak and uh, our fingers used to always get stained with ink there were so many problems so the solution to it was of course the yes anyone i'm worried people are sleeping maybe it's after lunch <laughs> no ma'am no yeah it's, it's perfectly all right to listen to your everyone is listening ma'am <laughs> okay, yeah yeah so so the so the, the they were this was the problem so the solution to the problem was of course the ballpoint pen so now the ballpoint pen has solved a lot of problems like and you can see that there are around 1804 patents attached to it around it and uh, <clears throat> this ballpoint pen now in in this in this pen industry again there were more innovations inventions and now we have now we use the gel pens right and the gel pens are more smooth in writing and they are more um, you can write for a longer period of time so you can see that and even these have around 162 patents uh, around it so you can see that how a simple thing like a pen even that has uh, innovations and uh, patents attached to it right so let's look at some famous inventors or inventions so in 1856 george alfred de penning who was a civil engineer of calcutta petitioned the government of india for the grant of exclusive right privileges for his invention and efficient pankha cooling machine and uh, you can see from here that the, since 1856 we had this uh, exclusive privileges system that was of course because we were governed by the british but now we have the patent system in place and our patent act is a very strong robust uh, act right now these are uh, the later part of the slide shows some inventions made by scientists which have really changed the way the world is right and uh, if you look at these all of these inventions you can just imagine uh, what has happened in the in 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 the industry in these inventions and see how they have Uh, the inventors or the inventor inventions have changed the way the particular invention is so for example thomas alva edison is uh, has had invented the bulb right and if you see the bulb at that time at that time it was a yellow colored bulb with a filament right but now we have so many different types of bulbs so if you look uh, at the inventions in the bulb industry you will see that you know now there are led bulbs there are solar bulbs there are colorful bulbs and, um, and now you even have sensor bulbs like when you enter into a room uh, the bulb will light up so so just think about the innovations or inventions that have taken place during this in the bulb industry right when you look at alexander graham bell he had invented the telephone right and at that time we used to dial it i we had telephones where you had to dial it but now just think about it how the telephone industry how the inventions have moved in the telephone industry why because all of these are technological aspects all of these are based on some science or the other and now we have our own smartphones which are so uh, like equivalent to a um, laptop i do half of my work on the phone itself it is so very convenient when you look at uh, the aeroplane which was invented by the right brothers so at one time it was very um, it was a very sh shaky sort of a thing and people were not very comfortable in traveling because they thought it was not very secure but now we are we travel so very often by the aeroplane and if you look at uh, the uh, the inventions in this field can you tell me an invention in this field yes aeroplanes so you have john right ma'am yeah yes the drones no now we have the drones which are where you can use it as a cargo uh, uh, as a delivery vehicle for cargo you do there is no need for any uh, pilot also so so 
that is how inventions are you know that is what they do they actually create such a lot of uh, benefit to the society so when you look at uh, the in the, the scientific acumen of louis pasteur so i'm sure you would be knowing that he had brought about the process of pasteurization right and that was so very important at one time then he came up with rabies vaccination which was one of uh, uh, one of the, one of the vaccines you know which was so very important at that time and uh, this actually paved the way for vaccines and ab to chote chote bachcho ko do do din ke bhi kyon na ho unko alag alag vaccines lagte like bcg and all that so you know that is what the whole body of work that these uh, scientists have done they have changed the way the world is today and when you look at alexander fleming uh, he had actually discovered penicillin at one time but then uh, he uh, isolated penicillin from penicillin penicillium notatum which is a fungus and then he uh, invented penicillin which was the first antibiotic to have been uh, invented and uh, which was very of a lot of importance during the world war because the soldiers were all suffering from all sorts of bacterial infections right so now you will say that man map to sirf uh, bahar ke inventions ke bare mein bol rahe hain hamare inventors nahi hain are, are we not inventors are we not creators no we are but then we do not protect our inventions that is the biggest problem so some of the famous inventions i've just mentioned like the nano car the hepatitis vaccine the jaipur fort um har professor har govin purana who was an indian american biochemist shared the 1968 nobel prize for physiology and medicine and uh, this nobel prize was awarded to him because he had um, shown how the base are bases are nucleotides are paired in a genetic code which paved the way for biochemistry which is very important to be right first pentium chip was invented in 1993 by mr vinod dham who is also called the father of pentium processor so you can uh, see that at that time you know when the first time when the computer was invented it was very big and a whole room uh, used to take the space but uh, later on uh, due to so many inventions and the pentium chip was one of the Major inventions because of which uh, we are now able to, you know, handle the lap uh, laptops. Uh, so that that was one of a, a very important invention. Then, if you remember, the first uh, internet facility, email facility, was uh, given to uh, to the world by Mr. Sabir Bhatia, the Hotmail. So you can see that we are very inventive and creative. It's just that we need to. uh first of all understand or acknowledge that this is yes this is intellectual property and yes i can protect it to a right to the patent if it's a scientific thing if if that is there then there will be a flood of uh, patents and there will be a flood of products that are protected by patents which can be an economic tool <clears throat> so let's look at patent filing application filing so basically just as uh, we we talked about how you know when you buy a car you just go to the uh, government office submit some documents and then the car is registered on your name in the same way if you want to file a patent application you have to do the same thing so first you have to file a form 1 which will contain the details of the applicant application so um mr uh, dr rahman has been a uh, an inventor and uh, uh, jamia milia is islamia was the applicant right and uh, so uh, all the details were provided right the name name of the applicant the address the name of the inventors email id uh, whatsapp uh, mobile numbers so that you know even through whatsapp there can be a communication between the applicant and the patent office because nowadays uh, the patent office is trying to be very proactive and try to uh, see to it that the applicants or the inventors Uh, find it comfortable to file and to get their patents registered in the intellectual property office. And then, of course, fees need needs to be paid. Uh, there is something called Form Two, which is a which is called the specification, right? Now, this is almost equivalent to what you uh, publish in a paper. 
uh, for, in a journal. So you will write various aspects in a journal, like say, for example, the name, the title, then um, what is the background, what is the problem, what is the solution, uh, what is the, are there any drawings? Uh, you need to uh, disclose what are the drawings, what are the, if it is, um, uh, uh, what are the materials and methods, res results, interpretation, all of that you do it in your uh, paper, you know, for publication in a journal. So it, you have to do the same thing here, as, as, except that there is something called claims. And these claims are something which, which makes the patent specification a techno-legal document because then it contains both the, the technicalities, the technology, the science, and also the uh, legal aspect. So claims define the boundary of your invention. And this is where they, they requires a little bit of hand-holding for the scientists because yes, um, it is a little tricky, but then I always uh, uh, say that, you know, if if you are, you have the ability, the scientist has the ability, the inventor has the ability to create a product, to make a process, which is going to be useful to the public. So if you have, you, you have created that, you have done the biggest thing possible. Writing part, there are so many people who can help you in doing that. So do not worry about all this. You can always... Uh, there are patent agents, there are various uh, uh, government organizations who can help you in, uh, in filing your application or writing your claims or your specification, right? Next, uh, uh, we talk about fees, right? So uh, there was a small study uh, when I was in the ministry and uh, I we found that, you know, there are a lot of... Uh, uh, papers that are published by our scientists in various reputed journals, something to the tune of 2.5 lakhs per year. But but the, when you look at the number of patent applications filed by uh, these researchers or uh, these inventors, that is very less. Because if you look at the total number of patent applications filed in India, it is only around 60,000. But if you look at the patent applications filed in, say, China, that is uh, 60, 14 lakhs per year. 14 lakh patent applications are filed and we file something around 60,000. So there is a very big gap. And if you look at the other countries also, even their numbers are very high. Like say US is like between seven to eight lakhs. Europe, Europe is between uh, again six to, six to 7.5 five lakhs. So, but we are lagging behind in filing for patent applications and that is really worrisome because it isn't that we are not inventive or not innovative. It's just that we are not filing for patent applications. So when this was uh, done, uh, this uh, research was being done, then the government was a little hesitant, uh, worried because why this is happening. So then they thought that maybe it is because of high fees because at uh, one time, the fees was 28,000. So now the government has now for any educational institute, of course, for natural person, startup or small entity, or educational institute, university, research institute, anything, they have brought it down to just 5,600. So this, we hope, the government hopes that will be an impetus or will not be a bottleneck for the patent applications to be filed. And uh, there was also this, uh, uh, in the stakeholders meeting, some uh, researchers had said that, you know, it is very patent application gets granted very uh, late. So it is not very uh, convenient for us. So then the government introduced this rule, which is 24C1 for expedited examination. And uh, if uh, you file under this rule, then you can get a grant within six to one, six months to one year. That is approximately, and uh, if there is no opposition that has been filed, right? So where do you file it? You have a comprehensive e-filing portal. I told you, you can file it there. And uh, the basic app points that you need to remember is please first file for a patent application and then only publish your results. Because if you don't do that, then it becomes 
open to the public. Uh, so there is one more aspect that you need to remember. One is that uh, suppose you are doing your research and you are halfway your research, so you know that you can get a product. So then you file for something which is called the provisional specification. And if you file for the provisional specification, you can then you have time to file for your public specification. Uh, specification within a span of 12 months or one year. So after 12 months, then you file your complete specification, right? So this is also something of importance. So <clears throat> what is the patent application processing? So although it looks a little complicated and maybe it is, but then the first thing that you have to remember is, you know, if you have to file it, the government will look into it, uh, will see to it that there are no um, objections or no problems and if there are any problems then uh, the examiner and controller will issue a first examination report with all the objections and uh, uh, you have to uh, comply with uh, the uh, objections within six months or maximum six plus three months mm -hmm. and that is nine months and once that is done then uh, it can be granted if all the objections are complied with. Uh, if it is not granted, then you will be given an opportunity to uh, to a hearing. And that, that is a uh, again to video conference. And uh, you can then express or, or clarify all the doubts and then your patent is granted. Okay? So this is all about patents. So you have to remember that patents is for a scientific or a technological invention or a the second IPR we talk about is designs. Now, uh, this design is very simple. It is basically related to only the outer, uh, only the features of shape, uh, configuration, pattern, ornament, or composition of lines or colors applied to any article. So, very simple. It doesn't take much because it is judged solely by the eye, and there is no um, no mechanical aspect or anything connected to it. So if you look at the car, right? So the machinery of the car will be protected by technology, will be protected by the patents, right? But if you look at the car, the design, the shape, then it is a design registration. You should also remember that in India, we call it just design registration. It's not design patent, right? Patent is different in India and design is different. So, uh, like for example, these bags, right? So the in the uh, bags that uh, we use, I mean, the ladies use, they they are all protected by designs. There are uh, many famous uh, designers who are uh, protected their designs. Like for example, Gucci uh, and so many Bagot and uh, uh, so many other examples can be there. Also, um, even clothes can be protected. So you have a lot of Fashion designers, like for example, can you name a few? Yes, any fashion designer? Manish Malhotra. Yeah, Manish Malhotra, Sabya Sachi, right? They all protect their uh, designs, you know, through uh, design registration in our office. And uh, some few years back, Mr. Man, uh, Sabe Sachi had filed for a lot of design uh, registrations and he was awarded the Intellectual Property Award for the highest number of designs that he had filed for, right? So mm -hmm. design is very simple. Anything that appeals to your eye, that is what is designed. So look at the shape, configuration, and sur surface pattern of bottles. Each of it can have a design. And uh, if you can just... Uh, uh, Imagine a bisleri bottle and a Kingley bottle. Both of them have set different designs. But at the end of the day, uh, you may like to buy a Kingley bottle because of the shape of it, because it appeals to your eye. In the same way, you know, you can have designs for everything. So, for example, the watch. So the watch can be square, it can be round, it can be it can be of any shape. That will be its design. But the machinery is protected by the patent. Right? So there is a concept called set of articles in uh, design. And as I have, I'm showing you, it, it means that two shoes will have the same design. Both of them will be sold together in the same way the tea, uh, the tea uh, pot, the 
milk container, the sugar container, the cup, the saucer, all of them together will have the same design normally. Right? Where do you file it? You file it with the design registry. You can file it anywhere. Again, you can file it online, but it is actually processed uh, at the design registry in the patent office, Calcutta. Right? So what do you need to file here? Registration comparatively simpler. Application fee, uh, you have to file uh, the form one, which is again applicant, uh, full name, nationality, legal status, address, class, all those details. And you need to file two sets of representation illustrating various views of article. So this is one of the view, right? Perspective. Now, all of these are published in our journal, which is available on the website, free of cost. And uh, you can just go and do a search and see what sort of uh, uh, design registrations are done. Right? And again, uh, if there are any problems, then designs uh, you can. Uh, there will be a first examination report issued by the design wing, and you have to reply within uh, maximum nine months. Once that is done, the design is registered. And the term of design is initially for 10 years, but it can be extendable by another five years. Then we have the concept of the third idea, trademarks, right? So trademark, you must all be aware of. Trademark is any word, name, symbol, or device, or any combination thereof. And it uh, allows a business entity to build public goodwill and brand reputation. So some of the examples you can see here. So, uh, if I say Yidil Mangemo, which is the product which you are able to remember? Pepsi. 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 Yeah. So, so that is what the trademark does. It it actually builds a loyalty between the con con consumer and the company. So you also have sounds which can be trademarks. Like if you uh, watch the movies under Metro Goldwyn Mayer, then there will be a roar of lion, which is a trademark. And in the same way, if you open any of the products, like the first time you open an Apple phone, then there will be a sound, and that, that is a sound mark, right? So what is a good trademark? So if you see, trademark has two basic qualities, good trademark. First of all, it should be distinctive, and it should not be deceptively similar. So here I'm showing how they are deceptively similar. They are actually copying all the aspects of this lily, right? Like for example, the bottle, the shape of the bottle, the color, you know, the color combination, all of this has been copied. And they have, but they have interchanged some letters. But when you look from far off, you will think that this is a this lily bottle and you will buy. So what what is, what are these manufacturers doing? They are trying to build up or they are trying to use the image or the uh, goodwill that Bisneri has developed for all these years and they are trying to deceive the consumer. So if you can recollect the ad that comes for Bisneri, uh, can you recollect the ad? So there is a, there are two camels who are drinking water and then they spit it out. And then they say, her pani ki bottle Bisneri nahi hoti. So, it has to be very, the, the trademark needs to be very clear and very distinctive and it should not be deceptively similar. So how to protect your trademark? Trademarks registration is optional, but if you want any sort of legal uh, action that you need to take, like for example, if this lady wants to take legal action against these companies, then its trademark needs to be registered in India. Because as I've already told you, it's a territorial right, right? So only if that is registered in India, then only he can take legal action. Then it is initially registered for 10 years and it can be renewed indefinitely. It can 10 years each time. Okay, where do you file it? Again, on, on our website, there is a, uh, uh, in the e-filing module. Next we come, next IPR is copyright. Copyright, most easy uh, intellectual property right, which is infringed. Unknowingly, we do not acknowledge that we are using or we are uh, copying the uh, intellectual property of another person. So, for example, if you download a song, if you 
uh, download an image if you copy an image if you copy uh, from two three websites some material and then you uh, give it as you put your name on it and submit it as your project then you are infringing on someone's copyright so we have to be very careful this is the most common right to be infringed and uh, what is it it is a bundle of right it is automatic right and exclusive right given to uh, creators of original work of authorship and it, it is even for unpublished work so what are the works covered in the copyright so literally including software uh, compilation uh, books essays compilations computer programs so you need to remember here that in india software per se computer programs algorithms are all protected under copyrights not under Copyright. Dramatic like screenplay, drama, sound recording like compact disc, artistic like drawing, painting, logo, map, chart, photographs, work of architecture, musical notations, films, all of these are works that can be protected under copyrights. Now, uh, what are the rights of authors? So, there are two major rights. One is the economic right uh, and the second is the moral right. So when you look at the economic right, these are transferable rights and uh, a, a copyright, a person who has a copyright and something can transfer his work to another person for a sum of money or royalty. Most common example is uh, books which are produced into movies. Can you give me some examples? Yes, anyone? Harry Potter series. Harry Potter series. Books by? Book by? J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling. What about someone uh, from India? Chetan Bhagat. Chetan Bhagat, right. Three Idiots and uh, so many of his other novels. So, so these are economic rights. But there are there is always there is also another right, which is the moral right, and which is always uh, there with the author. They always remain with the author. Under this, there are two rights right against distortion and right of reformation. So the right to object to the work being distorted or used in context that are prejudicial to the honor and reputation of the author. So the book cannot be distorted in such a way that it is uh, prejudicial to uh, the reputation of the author. Right of recognition. So whenever you go and uh, you copy, uh, paste something from the net, you should always remember to acknowledge that this is this person's um, uh, work of this person's copyrighted work and secondly you have to re remember two things here first of all as soon as you write something right you already own a copyright you do you do not need to uh, go and take a copyright over it the, the only reason why people do it is because if they want any sort of monetary benefit out of it okay secondly you have to understand that if you are uh, uh, whenever you uh, uh, try uh, whenever you go to the net and download something, you should always look at the usage rights. So there will be, you know, different types of right, usage rights. So suppose you are downloading a, uh, an image. So uh, the, it, there will be a mention there that if this can be, yes, this image can be downloaded, downloaded free of cost. Sometimes it says, yes, you can download it, but only for, uh, not for commercial purpose. You can do it for educational purpose you can do it for other not for commercial purpose sometimes it will say that uh, okay uh, it should be for uh, uh, you should you have to take a license or you have to pay money so all these aspects are very important this is right of recognition and uh, if you go to movies where uh, uh, they are uh, based on uh, novels or books then these uh, there will be a statement you know for credits mein aata hai na, that this no, this movie is based on the work of so and so by so and so. So all these are important rights. Right? Then we come to term of protection. Term of protection is different for different works. So if it is published literary, dramatic, artistic, musical, then it is life of author plus 60 years. If it is cinematographical, then it is 60 years. Broadcast reproduction rights, it's 25 years. And performance rights, it's 50 years. When you look at the application procedure, comparatively simple, uh, you need to file form 14 along with the fees in the copyright office. Again, you can file it online. You uh, 
um, you have to this these are the various fees for various works and once you file the fees then whether it is uh, if there are no objections if there is no discrepancy then it is registered if there is a discrepancy then there will be a hearing and uh, after the hearing if it is clarified then the copyright is registered right okay. sixth uh, fifth uh, intellectual property rights is semiconductor integrated circuits layout design so this is basically related to uh, semiconductor circuits integrated circuits which are uh, products with fast changing technology such as electronic gadgets computers etc and they uh, they have it is a product having transistors and other circuitry elements and basically uh, sic is an integral part of every computer chip so we have discussed about uh, chips right mr vinod dhan is was called the uh, father of pentium processors which was the chip right and uh, basically it's a simple uh, uh, easy to file process and uh, the criteria is it should be original distinctive and distinguishable and uh, if there is no uh, these are some of the examples of sic layout designs and uses last week we come to geographical indications invaluable treasures of incredible india atulya bharat ki amulya nidhi so what is a geographical indication is an indication that identifies a product that has specific geographical origin this is qualities or reputation that are due to that origin and they can be you know uh, for food stuffs for agricultural products handicrafts industrial products like uh, darjeeling tea nilgiri tea uh, then bastar uh, 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 dhokra bubbly vina and so many examples can you uh, name a few of uh, the gis that you think are there in your state which what was the question can you name a few gis which would, which are part of your state okay because it, it relates to the geography of a of a place so you know every state has its own gis and they all then Pardon? Basmati rice. Yes, basmati rice. What is? Uh, probably the turmeric from uh, Erod. Yes, I think that is there. I'm not very sure, but very simple. Like for example, you know the Banarasi sarees, the chicken curry work, the Lucknow chicken curry work, uh, the uh, saffron so from Kashmir. Saffron from Kashmir, right? I have mentioned this, yeah, Kashmir saffron, and uh, the magahi pan, the shahi lychee of Bihar, pork orange. So there are so many uh, ag agricultural products also that can be katpuris of Rajasthan, pak prints of Madhya Pradesh, Bengal patchitra, early painting, Kola puri chappals. All of them can be GIs, right? So you can just do a small search on our uh, website to see, you know, whether what sort of uh, GI products are there from any of your states, right? So uh, career opportunities. So yes, if uh, you want to join the government, then you have science background, then you can be an examiner of patents and designs, just as I was, and then I got promoted. Uh, if you want to go to the private, then you can be a patent agent. So uh, uh, the patent agent exam is conducted by by our office, and if you clear this exam, you can be absorbed in a lot of legal ipr firms you can also be part of the grf srf team in patent facilitation centers or you can be part of the ipr team uh, patent litigation team in a lot of, uh, in the legal firms right if you have law as a background then you can be examiner of copyrights or trademark and gi um, again you can give the trademark agent and be a part of the trademark uh, uh, litigation team in ipr uh, legal firms if you are from the arts or the humanities then you can do a lot of research on intellectual property or inter or their associated rights and you know uh, actually uh, tell the uh, tell the government uh, in what ways it can improve so that uh, 
intellectual property and intellectual property rights contributes to the economy and the growth of socio economic growth of the country so finally we we just uh, revise uh, uh, at the end so for intellectual property rights patents then it is granted for technological or scientific inventions they are either products and or process 20 years term if it is a design then it is outer configuration and it is uh, it only appeals to the eyes anything which appeals to the eye and it is 10 plus 5 years maximum 15 years if it is a trademark then it is uh, it can be a word logo symbol sound and it distinguishes goods it generates goodwill 10 years plus 10 years indefinitely if it is a geographical indication then it relates to a place or name any product of that place or name and yes uh, these are community rights they are not monopoly rights and this is 10 years plus 10 years indefinitely when you look at semi conductor integrated layer designs they are chips or chips and this is for 10 years then you look at copyrights this is for original work related to books drama software paintings film songs etc and this is different for different works so i have come to the end of my presentation thank you for your very patient listening and uh, this has been really i hope i have not uh, uh, actually <laughs> bore you because it's a little uh, Oh no! Don't say that, ma'am. Yes. We were we were Thank listening you. to you. We were listening to you most enthusiastically. In Thank fact. Thank you so much. Thank and you. It was mesmerizing. I mean, the entire hour has gone without any lapse of of the moment. Yes. Very nice. Thank you. So much. Thank you. And you still have any question? Yeah, sure. We have. but we would encourage yes, our there are no doubts i think the students are asking in between yeah yeah let let the students ask first of course anyone ma'am if there is a business which provides services then it will register itself as a patent or gi or what no see uh, so if it is a business which which has a product only then it uh, the product will get the patent and ma'am what if the business provides services but not the real product then nothing then it can be a copyright you oh. will have a, a trademark because you have your business will have a name right and that can be your trademark okay ma'am thank you and if you are doing anything related to any of the works that we have discussed and the copyright then you can have a copyright Uh, doctor someone was ma'am ma someone was okay asking about the app can be patented or not app um, chat yes. yes so apps are not patented as i told you they are if because they are basically algorithms they are computer uh, programs or algorithms and uh, you know if you look at a product uh, that is defined in the indian context in the indian patents act then it is either a product or a process to make that product so the app doesn't fall in any of this criteria so then that is the reason why it, it can be protected through a copyright some of the component of the app may be patented or copyright may i right? uh, uh, say the, the if you have pure software then that is cannot be patented but suppose the software is connected to a hardware then that becomes a product and as soon as you have a product then it it can be patented ma'am can you please explain the term uh, a process can be patented like yeah. so suppose uh, let's look at it from this way so suppose you have developed a, a machinery a small component in a car which is now going to give you a uh, 25 uh, kilometers for 1 liter of petrol right you can do that no as an engineer i think you can uh, see that maybe some some sort of a uh, component you can develop so you can patent that component and you can also patent the process of making that component because that component the product you are made how you have made it so first you will make it in your lab when you make it in your lab it you you are still making it right 
Now, this lab thing is not sufficient. You have to then see to it that it goes to the industry. So, in the industry, the product and the process of making that product, both of them can be critical. But sometimes you can only take the process, the process of making a certain thing. That is your novel thing. Like say, for example, uh, aspirin. Okay. So aspirin as a product cannot be patented. But aspirin, the process of making aspirin can be patented. Okay. Yeah, have you got the difference? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now, may I ask the question? Maybe. Yes, sir, please. Uh, no, I was just waiting for the other children to ask us. However, ma'am, you know, we have the geographical indicators as a registered geographical indicators uh, yes. related to some area. Now, what is the commercial benefit of getting the geographical indicator registered? Yeah. Uh, so, sir, uh, basically the fact is that GIs are almost like trademarks. So, uh, suppose you are selling a Pashmin, suppose there is a a GI tag for Pashmina shawls, right? Mm. Pashmina shawl has a GI tag, and this is very famous. This is the most famous GI tag, uh, like Nilgiri tea or Pashmina shawl. So only those community, that community which produces Pashmina shawl and which has the GI tag, can use that GI tag. No one else can use it. So when you uh, come to Delhi, there are people. I mean, there there are a lot of. Um, uh, sellers who will say that this is Pashmina and this is Pashmina, but that is wrong. Actually, there is an infringement and that is not correct. So, the, the, uh, the they can take legal action. I mean, the people from Kashmir can take legal action. So, uh, that is what the importance is. It's, it's a, it gives a commercial benefit. Yeah, I'm just winding up. Huh? Give me five minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah agreed. I, I, I now find. Yeah. Yes, Tapanjit, please. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. I'm like, uh, I'm like you said uh, that uh, the research should not be filed in a general and unless you get the patient patent. Yes. So, ma'am, yes. uh, maybe the patent sometimes takes a year or two to get filed. So, until unless the patent is filed, we cannot uh, uh, publish our research uh, in the general. So, no, ma see, the, the thing is that the filing of the patent will not take you more than half a day. I'm not talking of grant. I'm talking of filing. So you file it in the Indian Patent Office and then you can uh, publish any time after that you can publish it. So filing is important. Means filing filing the is patient. important because as soon as you file it, you are establishing that this is your invention and no one else can copy it till you, you uh, it take them the right. It has to be granted. Yes, the of course it has to be granted. Uh, only then you can take legal action. But at least, see, if, if you do not file it, then you can you can never take any legal action. At least now you have that uh, opportunity that okay, once it is granted, I will I can take legal action or I can stop others from using my invention. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Ma yes. Ma'am, what about Amazon? Because Amazon is just the software. Yeah. Which, so ma'am, is that only copyright or they have also patent? No, they don't have any patent. See, you have to re understand, remember that when you want a patent, you need to have a product. Okay. A product or a process of making the product. So what does Amazon have? Amazon does not have a product, right? Like for example. Yeah, ma'am, it's a platform. It's a platform. So that platform is, it can be used by anyone. No, but Maximum, it has, it it has have a copyright for its name, isn't it? Pardon, sir? Amazon has a trademark for its name. Yes, yes, trademark for for its name. Uh, that is that is that is okay. But maybe, maybe the logo also, ma'am. Yes, Amazon the logo. Trademark. The logo is the trademark, right? But that doesn't mean that uh, that means that no one else can use Amazon's logo for, for its work because uh, since I told you, na, bislari. To recollect uh, the, the example of bislari, no one else can use that trademark, right? So they have that much in, that much business importance. But when you look at patents, that is a totally different aspect. You have to have a product for that particular thing. So for example, um, 
you you if if amazon wants to sell something that if it need uh, to patent something then it needs to have a product right well, let me understand this way then amazon as a name is a registered name and the logo is uh, is is a, a trademark is that correct ma'am so to say no sir the amazon the trademark is the logo hmm. and the name both yes it can both be both. anything so uh, if you see uh, if you look at the trademark amul right hmm. so amul under the amul you will find atali bachali delicious so hmm. both all three of them together are the trademark trademarks okay okay So, ma'am, they are treated as a three words or a single word. A mool, utterly, bitterly. All together. Just... All together. All together. Okay. All together. Mm. No, but you know the fact is that nobody can keep his or her company's name as Amazon, and also yes. cannot and also cannot use the trade uh, the the logo that Amazon uses. Yes. So, yes. I mean, uh, uh, are not these two things different? All of them together. Cannot be used as a trademark by anyone else. And what about using them separately? Not no, they cannot be used separately. Also, logo, name, and tagline. They all three make a tra yes. trademark. Yes. Okay. So it can be either one or it can be all together. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, hello. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I have a question. Like uh, somebody is talking about uh, Amazon, so I have a question. Like uh, uh, the source code, like Google have some, you know, uh, written the codes. To the, uh, the source code is in is in comes in the copyright. Yes, copyright. And ma'am, second question is, uh, like uh, you said, uh, uh, if we are reading, if we, I have an, I, I, if I have any idea about any product. And I have reading some research papers about that. So how do we know about that? It is already filed patent somewhere in the world. So I have told you, no. Uh, first, you can either you can do a search on, uh, say, on any of the platforms, like say Google. You can do a small search on Google and find out if anything is there. Or if you want to file it in India, then you should you should do a search on our website. I told you how you can do do it so that you know that what are the patents that are filed in that particular field in that particular jurisdiction. Okay, ma'am. Last question is like uh, in uh, you know you said while submitting application. Uh, it should not be any uh, there in anywhere in the world, right? Yeah. So uh, I want to uh, like if 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 we register any patent in India, so it is valid in the world, or we have to register for each country. For each country, because for there is country. nothing called global patent or international patent. All for right. each country, you have to register it. You have to file it, and then get a grant over it. And vice versa, like somebody in the internationally has registered, uh, so. Like we can't copy the same product. Only we can change the process. See, uh, if if that product has a patent in India, then you will ha have to face legal action. If it is not a patent in India, there is no patent on it. Then you can produce it here also, not in. Yeah, like if some product have patent in US uh, or for yeah. example UK, but yes. not in India. Yes. Then you like can the always do. Uh, you can use it here. ओके थैंक यू मेरा क्वेश्चन है एक मैम अगर मैंने कोई कॉमिक बुक लिखी है और उस कॉमिक बुक का कोई लोगो है तो क्या मैं कॉमिक बुक के पब्लिश होने से पहले उस लोगो को कॉपीराइट या ट्रेडमार्क करवा सकता हूं बिल्कुल करा सकते हो बिल्कुल कराइए थैंक यू मैम मैम इसका ऑनलाइन मैम कैन बी ऑफिस है ना हां आप ऑनलाइन भी कर सकते हैं नहीं तो आप ऑफिस में पोस्ट भी कर सकते हैं नहीं तो यहां आके भी आप फाइल कर सकते No, even PowerPoint lectures can be copyrighted if you have. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Ma'am, can composition be patented now in India also? Yes, it is patented in India. Composition, but uh, it should be have a unique, uh, unique, uniqueness in this Compos novelty. Yes, yes, novelty should be there. Novelty. If if someone has when someone has a different compo composition and he is produ he or she is producing something else and from that. Fine. Okay, that should be fine. See, if if a patent is granted or based on novelty inventive step, then normally it is supposed that it is a, a good composition, right? So then you have a patent on it; it's fine. Okay. Okay. 
so i think we come to the end of the session thank you so much thank you everyone for being very active participants and if there are any queries you can always uh, message me mail me i have sent my email address here thank you so much sir thank you dr vishwa rao thank you thank you very much thank you so much sir thank you thank you so much ma'am it was ma'am it was